welcome to the testing world so here in this reporting session we are going to understand how we can generate excel reports like as of now we have seen all the reports which are generated are in the form of html but this time i'm going to generate report in format of excel so first of all i'm moving to that slide and here so this time we are going to generate excel report first of all we need to create a project with test case and multiple annotations so i'm just moving eclipse as of now i have multiple test cases but all the test cases are having only one annotation which is test annotation so here we can check we have multiple test cases with one annotation which is test normally we divide our test case into the three different annotations so i'm using public void create driver i'm creating a method and whatever the code you want to execute before the test case like these three lines are not the part of my test case that should be executed before the test case so i'm placing it here in the another method in the same way public void after or i'll say quit driver so the line which is for closing the driver or i'll say browser I'll place in this method. Here the annotation is at the rate before method. So whatever the code we want to execute before the test case, that should be inside the before method. And whatever the code you want to execute after the test case, I'm putting into the after method annotation. As of now, you can see we are getting some error. Why we are getting error? Because the driver that we have created, it is inside the method. And we are using the same driver in the different methods whatever the object you want to use inside multiple methods you need to make it global so I am just writing like this declaring that driver is a global object but assigning the value inside the method so at the start this before method is going to execute it will start the browser and create the driver object chrome driver object now this driver will be used in the test case and after method so here we have this before method test and after method but if you notice this before method and after method is common to all the test cases means in all test cases we need to start browser and we need to close the browser so whatever the code you know that's reusable in the different test cases for making it reusable i'm going to create one more package with the name base and here inside the base package i'm creating a class with the name create driver before method and after method which we have created in our test case because these are common to all the test cases so i'm writing these methods in the base class like create driver class now i'm moving to the test cases and i'm inheriting that base class so here we have used inheritance now i got the access of the parent method as well so inheritance means you can use your own items as well as parent members but we can access only parent members which are public so i'm going to the parent and here my before method and after method both are public but this chrome driver which i have created is not public so i'm making this public as well now you will notice we are not getting any error anymore now i'll tell you what is the order of execution whenever we execute any test case first of all it check do we have test annotation or not yes we do have now it's checking do we have before before method no we do not have before method over here but because we have inherited this trade driver so it will go to the parent and check do we have before method yes we do have so first the before method will execute once this before method will execute it will create the driver object because this object is public so that can be used by the child 
so here we are using the object which is created by the parent so here we have created a separate class with before method and after method in the same way now what we'll do i'm going to the other test cases and inheriting the same class so now we need not to write these line of code because whenever we are going to execute first search for the test annotation yes we do have if we have the test annotation now it search for the before method we do not have but my parent have so it will go to the parent and create the driver over here because the driver is public it will be used in the child test cases so here we are using it in a test case in the same way i am going to test case number two extends create driver and doing the same thing so everything is done now my test case is divided into the three methods or i'll say three annotations before method test after method now we need to create one more method which is going to generate a report so i'm coming to the parent class and here i'm creating a method public void generate report and this report will be generated at the end so i'm going to write a notation which is after suite so once everything is executed just execute this method which is going to generate the report so as of now everything is done successfully if you want to execute you can check execution i'm just running the tsng.xml and all the things will execute in the same way as it was executing before so here you see first test case is executed now it's executing the second test case and then third test case So all the test cases are executed successfully, two are passed and one is failed. Now we can move to generate next kind of report which is Excel report. So I'm just moving here. We need to add, first of all, we have a project with the test case having multiple annotations. So now I need to add the following jar files. We need a jar file which is AT Excel report, J free chart, POI, POI OXML, Common Collection, JFree Chart Dependency. So these are the eight jar files which is required. Either you can download all these jar files by searching on the Google or this is the Google Drive path from where you can pick these jar files. So I'm just moving to the browser and that is the path from where we can download these jar files. This is the download button. Just click on this and start downloading that. Once all the jar files are downloaded successfully, it will be a GIF file. We need to unzip that. So it is downloading. Once the downloading is completed, I'm just closing it because I have already downloaded that. So once you have downloaded all these jar files, this folder, you need to go to that location. So I'm going to this location and you need to unzip that. you need to unzip that folder. So once you unzip that, you are going to get all these jar files. These jar files need to be added to the project. So I just copy this location, going to the Eclipse, right click, build path, configure build path, and external jars. So I'm adding external jar files. So these are the all the jar files. I have just selected all these jar files. Okay. So now all the jar files are added here in the project. Here we've seen all these jar files are added into the project. Now we need to add the following code in after suite annotation. So first we need to import this package org automation testing excel report.excel. So I'm moving to the parent. And I'm writing 
import org dot automation testing dot excel report dot xl so this is the class which we want to use and here on the after suit just write excel dot generate report and whatever the name you want to give so i'm just giving report excel dot xlsx so that's the name of the file which i'm giving over here it asks for exception handling i'm just selecting the first option so it is automatically handling the exception everything is done i'm just moving to the testng.xml again and this time when we are executing this now it should generate a new new kind of report which is xls report so i'm running it again and here it is executing all the test cases so test case 1 is passed it's executing test case 2 now test case 3 once it is done we are going to get message so it is generating report yes even we can check it over here excel report generated okay now go to the project f5 refresh the project inside the test output folder you are going to get this report excel the name of the file name which we have given while generating the report and that is a xls x you can copy this path and now i'm opening that excel file so entered and here you notice uh, excel report is open and here it shows total two test cases passed one is paid start time and end time of the execution and total duration it took here it shows the execution status in the pie chart format so that's a failed test case passed test case and if you go to the second sheet so it is showing individual test cases like these are the three test cases start time end time and the duration it took also it shows the failed test case why it's getting failed this is the reason so here we have generated an excel kind of report in selenium or apm you can use this reporting option in any of the tool either you can go for the selenium or apm the reporting tool which we are learning is common to all the tools which are using java hello friends hope you are enjoying our videos here we have created a lot of video courses which are specially designed for software testers this is the list of our courses. We have more than 30 unique courses which you can buy in $200. If you want to buy any 10 courses, you can take it in $100 and you can buy any individual course in $15. You can contact us on email or the number which I have provided for these videos.